Welcome into the latest ESPN headline. I'm Prim Saripapat. It's all about what the team needs. And right now, the San Francisco 49ers are in need of some wide receivers because Michael Crabtree, he is dealing with a torn Achilles. And then you have Mario Manningham, who is dealing with a left knee injury. So in comes the tight end, Vernus Davis, who apparently has been lining up at wide receiver at the Niners training camp. And joining us over the phone is Mike Sando. So Mike, uh, what are the primary differences between lining up at tight end versus wide receiver? Well, you're out. You're away from the formation at wide receiver, and I think the 49ers have had so much of their identity in the running game, um, in part because they've used not only Vernon Davis but multiple tight ends, kind of tighter to the formation, so they're there to block. They also like to use two running backs more than most teams. So I don't think they're going to fundamentally change their identity that way. That's still going to be a big part of what they do, but. I do think the receiving numbers are trending up for Vernon Davis anyway. I mean, if you look at the NFC Championship game in the Super Bowl, he had 11 catches, which tied Crabtree for the most on the team. But he had a lot more yards, 210 to 166. So he had 100-yard games there. I think the trend is going to continue for him to be, take on a more prominent role. And that could mean some more plays lining up out, out wide. But the you know, defenses are still going to treat him as a tight end, and he'll be a big part of what they do in the run game, too. Yeah, Davis was actually pretty excited about the opportunity. He said that running some of those routes will actually help him at tight end. Now, here's a guy that's 6'3", 245 pounds. He actually played receiver some in high school. But what are some of the challenges that he faces? Well, I think most of the challenges are on the other side. You know, I mean, he, he is just such a special athlete. And I think he's gotten a little leaner uh, as his career has gone on, maybe a little bit less muscle-bound. He's certainly matured a ton. And I... Uh, you know, look, they're not going to turn him into a wide receiver. I mean, he, he's going to be a tight end who gets out in space away from the formation and creates matchup problems. What are you going to do? You can't really put a corner on him unless it's a really big corner. He's a, he's tough, too big maybe for some of the uh, – even some of the safeties. So, um, you know, he's not going to be making a total position change and play, being a wide receiver primarily. I think we're just going to see him – line up in space and then it's you know his route running I think becomes more important and and it has been anyway that's an area where he's improved Now, Mike uh, depth that wide receiver for the Niners is really a big concern right now because even some of the backups Kyle Williams as well as Ricardo Lockett they're nicked up as well now when you go back to talking about Crabtree and Mario Manningham what is the update on their health yeah well, Crabtree is going to miss a bunch of the season. We don't really know how long the new rules regarding the physically unable to perform list could allow him to sit out and make his debut as late as week 15, something where they could get him uh, ready for the playoffs. And uh, I think they're going to be without him for a big stretch of the season. Manningham's situation is a little different. I think he's going to come back sooner, could end up being a nice you know, sort of addition as the season gets going because he was an important part of what they were doing and a nice element last season until he uh, got hurt. But for now, I think they are searching. They've got three young guys, A.J. Jenkins, their first-round pick last year, is one of them, Quentin Patton, a fourth-rounder this year. You mentioned Ricardo Lockett, who's a little bit of a longer shot but has all the talent. They're looking for one of those guys to emerge. Mike Sando, he is our NFC West blogger for ESPN.com. Thanks a lot for your insight today. Thank you. Well, for more on this story, please keep it logged on to our NFL page on ESPN.com. I'm Prim Saripapat with your latest ESPN headline.